Welcome, everyone. Welcome to our prayer journey with my Ito daily devotion. Today, I'm going to discuss Romans 1.16. It's a verse that is commonly known. And if you never heard it before, listen to it intently. In Romans 1.16, it says this, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of God, for it is the power of salvation to all that believe, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. So for all that believe, there is salvation. So for someone hearing that, you know that if you believe in what I'm going to tell you, you will have salvation. And as a Christian, we have the opportunity to share this gospel, this verse with other people. Unfortunately, and I'm looking at myself, this is why this came up for me. There are times when I go to share this particular truth with somebody that does not know the Lord, and this is how I act. For I am ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation for all that believe, the Jew first and also the Greek. What happened? I believed the verse but I did not trust and walk in faith by that verse. And what does that do? In self-inspection and looking at myself for those times that I have turned away from giving the gospel because I was afraid that I would be looked on and upon the wrong way, that I would be mocked. So what did I do? I elevated myself over God and over my fellow man being more concerned about my feelings than that individual. When we do this, this is utter selfishness as a Christian. We are making ourselves better than the other person because we don't want to be laughed at by that other person. Let me read to you two verses here in Romans. Romans 1, 18 and 19. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. What truth do they hold? Because that which may be known of God is made known in them. It's manifest. For God has showed it unto them. At some point in your life, maybe even right now, if you're not a believer, God is showing himself to you. But the wrath of God is is one day going to be the judge of all unrighteousness. Here's a list of some things we do wrong. We are filled with unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, uh, like even me worrying about myself over God, uh, full of envy, murder, debate, whisperers, backbiters, covenant breakers, all of these different things we do. We don't keep our word. We don't, we rob, we steal, we lie. Sometimes we don't think we're doing these things, but we do. And as a Christian, when we are ashamed to provide the gospel to someone's loss, to wake them up to the truth that God has made known in them, when we refuse to share the gospel, when we are ashamed of the gospel, we are a watchman for this world, and we are leaving them without a warning, that if they were to pass away and die, that they would not go before the Savior if they do not know Jesus Christ. They would go before Satan, before hell, into hell. So let us not be ashamed of the gospel of God. Let us pray when we come in contact with people for an opportunity to not be ashamed of the gospel, to apply faith to our walk, and give them the gospel of Jesus Christ. And as always, until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.